Hello everyone, I'm really excited to unbox this and finally flip the Teflon Vulp. I actually did unbox this already yesterday. I received it yesterday, but I was busy working on the cheese review, link to it here. So I would, did not flip this at all yet. I did remove it from its packaging and had the like wrench on it to help it get through customs and it comes off really easily, so that's nice. Real quick, I forgot to mention this in the video, but this bell song was sent to me for free by Nabalis for the purpose of this video, but all thoughts and opinions in this first impressions are my own. Huge thank you to Nabalis for sending this out to me and thank you to you for watching, commenting, subscribing to the channel, supporting me, so that way I can bring videos like this to you for your enjoyment. Thanks for watching. And as you can see, it comes with the T10 bit, the extra hardware, bushings, washers, and pivots, Teflon coated. Without any further ado, let's get into the first flips. Oh yeah, listen to that ring. Whoa. Yeah, I've been really excited to try this out because as you probably know, if you're watching my channel, if you've seen my channel before, you know that I use the Volp a lot in my videos and I flip it a lot. I got my original Volp. This one I got at the first ever drop after they upgraded the hardware and whatnot to like the T10. So I've used this Volp a lot, as you can see, comparing it to comparing it to the Teflon Volp. Yeah, the handle gap has diminished quite a lot, which I'm okay with because I like the smaller handle gap. But I won't get too caught up in comparisons, I say. I'll try not to, but um, I'm hope I'm planning on making different, some other videos with the Teflon, Teflon Volp. I want to compare it to, yeah, the original Volp and the cheese as well, because these are both Teflon coated. This video is just my first impressions. I have to say it, when I was first felt it yesterday, the faces felt kind of smooth. And that's how I felt about the cheese as well when I first opened it, is I thought that the Teflon coating felt a little smooth, but as I got used to it, or also maybe as it just kind of wore in, it definitely went away, or maybe I just, yeah, it proved to show that it had good grip. Okay, this is really cool, yeah, this is, I feel like the chaplains feel about the same. Right off the bat, what I gotta say is just standing out to me the most is how the tuning feels. The tune is, oh yeah, we should check that. Really good, way better than <laughs> my other Vulp. Yeah, very little play, no tap, which is great. And it really does, affect just how this feels in the hand. Like this right now, like this definitely feels a lot more premium. I mean, the Teflon coating, I really like how it feels. Okay, so if you don't know, the Teflon Vulp and the Vulp are different in two ways. Well, technically four, but with the Balasong itself, the only thing that has changed is the tuning. The Teflon Vulp has a better tune and the Teflon coating, obviously. The other two things being the price. This is 65, this is 75, and the box is a little bit different. And of course, the difference between these two is also, I've flipped this one for two years. This one's new out of the box. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but the Teflon coating, like it it feels different in the hand, like more square, I, I don't know. So I'm curious about this jimping, let's give that a test. Oops. Okay, let's see if I can really. Yeah, because the Vulp already has some really good jimping. Whoa. So. Yeah, I feel like whether it's the coating needs to wear in or like it needs to just get used to it. Feels like a little bit slippery. Yeah, that's something that's weird. Like the Teflon coating on this feels a little bit, yeah, different, but yeah, maybe it needs to wear in or I just need to get used to it. But yeah, I mean, the jimping obviously is still really good. You know, the Volp has really good jimping where, yeah, the jimping itself does a lot of work with keeping it sticky. Or, okay, I'm gonna try and gather my thoughts. It feels like the balance, how it carries momentum, all of that is exactly the same. The stickiness of the chaplains, the, yeah, just the way it feels to do fans, choker fans, the like, all of that stuff feels the same. Once again, I'm all over the place. The first thing I noticed about this 
The faces. The texture on the faces of the old Vulp, I have said before, are a bit sharp and uncomfortable. If I flip a lot on it, sometimes my fingers can feel a little bit worn, but it feels so nice on the Teflon. It takes off just a little bit of the edge that was on the original, and instead, you still have that grip that feels excellent, honestly. Like, it feels really comfortable, and it really just does feel premium now, especially with that tune. But yeah, so I'm really enjoying this thing, obviously, because I like the original Volp. It's pretty crazy. It's something that I'm going to think about more in future videos, but like just having flipped this, yes, it does feel like a more premium Volp when you take in the, the tune and hopefully it holds that tune longer because that's really important. Um, but when you take in the tune and the sound and just the really cool grip and whatnot feel in the hand, this definitely feels a lot more premium. But at the base, it's still a Volp, which to me, I really like the Volp. I've done a lot of learning on it, and I think I've progressed quite far, all things considered. And I guess what I'm saying is like, not that I'm like some amazing flip or anything, it's just that I've learned so much on the Volp, I don't think anyone could really be held back on it. That if That's just kind of my view. But I'm getting off track. This Teflon Volp though, it definitely, the grip feels great. Um, I think once I get used to and it wears in the Teflon coating, I think the grip will be totally fixed, so to speak, from the original Volp. The sound is awesome. Like, I'm not good at these ice pick sound tests, and it still is working and sounds cool. Just to show you that. Here's a regular Volp. I mean, I guess I, I'm doing this test right, but yeah, I mean, the sound is completely different. My final thought of the first impressions, just to wrap it up, the balance is the same to me. Chaplains feel the same, balance feels the same, nothing is different. The sound is insane. <laughs> that sounds crazy, honestly, to hear a Volt that sounds like that. And the grip is definitely really good. I would say better than the original Volt. And the feel in the hand is just way better. From that tighter tune, everything just feels really good. Plus like this area on the faces that I mentioned feels really good because it is no longer sharp. So that feels really good. So overall, I'd say this is definitely like a more premium Volp, but it most certainly is still a Volp, still has the same balance and weight. So if you like the original Volp, I think you're going to like this more. If you didn't like the original Volp, depends on why, but if it's because of how the balance, like how it flips, I don't think you really feel a difference directly in that regard. Yeah, I rambled a lot in this one. I don't know if it's gonna be really short because I'll cut a bunch of things down or if it'll be really long, but let me know what you think of whatever I chose to do and let me know if you have any questions about this, any other things you want me to test in the videos. And if you made it to the end and did not skip, just leave a comment and I can thank you personally because that means a lot. I am on the grind still to get the 4,000 watch hours needed to get full channel monetization which would be really cool and whatnot. So really just watching and enjoying my videos does help out a lot to the channel. And also, so with subscribing and whatnot, really helps out getting to do some opportunities like this where Nabali sends me something to test out. But yeah, this video is probably gonna be pretty long or short depending on how much I cut out because I feel like I rambled all over the place. But if you're curious on what I think about the Nabali's cheese, just check out here. I will see you later.